Hello once again. So I've done some Chrome videos on kind of different ways to do it, but I know Selenium is still kind of one that a lot of people are always curious about. So in this video, I'm going to do a how to install it and then a simple script on how to kind of send a form filling uh, command, I guess. And that would be just kind of a way to test it to make sure it works and learn your first command with that in Selenium and AHK. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to download the Chrome driver. And I'll put the links down below in the description so you guys can just have easy access to them. So this is just on, you know, the Google's website. You just go down the latest stable version here and download. Uh, this one right here at the time of filming is Chrome driver for version 88. Uh, you do need to match it to the version of Chrome that you are running or it will not work. Uh, you will actually throw a air that looks like this. If it's gonna open. Mm, come on. There we go, that was a little slow. So you'll throw an error like this, and right here you can see that it says Chrome version 88, that it only works for that one. So that might you know point you in the direction of what you need there. Uh, to check what Chrome version you're using, you can just go up here to the three little dots, go down to Help, About Google Chrome, and there we go. As you see, I have version 88 right there. So I'm running the correct one, I'm downloading the correct thing. Um, you might not have to download the Chrome driver. Uh, I think the Selenium Basic uh, from this download page, I think it actually already puts it in there for you. Uh, but just in case you ever need to update in the future, um, I'm going to put that in the link below. So yeah, this is where you're going to get Selenium uh, Basic. You're just going to scroll down to where it says Download Release Page. And just download the executable there. So go ahead, uh, download it and uh, you'll end up with uh, two files first, Chrome Drive. Go ahead and just right click on that and say Extract All and you'll end up with a folder like this. And there will be a, normally a thing in there but I've already moved it. Uh, Selenium Basic, you can go ahead and just run that. It probably, it might give you an error saying like, you know, do you trust this application? Just say More Info and then say Run. And you just go through the setup process here. But I'm going to skip over that because it's pretty easy and I've already installed it. All right. So another thing uh, to point out here is in case you do need to know where the files are located, in case you do need to update, you can open up an explorer and just type in a percent sign, app data, and another percent sign. It's almost like a variable in uh, auto hockey's there. Press enter. Uh, it's going to take you to roaming. You can just click app data, go to local, and then just find Selenium Basic right there. And as you see, uh, where did I put that? So like you see, there's drivers in here. There's an Internet Explorer driver, Firefox, uh, Edge, and there's that Chrome one. So if you ever need to update later, you just replace that file in here. And it'll give you a little pop-up, you know, are you sure you want to replace that? Just say yes. That way you can update your drivers if a future version comes out. All right, let's take a look at that code, shall we? So, um, Selenium works a lot like how comms work. I honestly find these to be a lot easier than comms. Comms can, for the same function, sometimes, like, It'll take me 10 lines of code just to get a com to work, uh, plus a whole other function for, you know, WB and everything. Where in my script here, you know, it, it's so much more simpler, I think. So it's really cool to see this in action. Um, a few things to point out, too, is that Selenium does use debug mode in order to work. Uh, reason I've never really used Selenium is at work, we can't go into debug mode because IT kind of has, I guess, that blocked from us. Um, but if you're able to get in debug mode, I definitely recommend Selenium. It's really cool. And uh, the other thing to watch out for is when you log into debug mode, a lot of your stuff won't be there. You know, if you have 
uh, passwords that are stored, those won't be there. There are some ways around that, and that's kind of my test here, I guess, uh, is a good way to show you. So I'm going to press F1 to execute. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to do the driver. It's going to do this function here, which is just loading the Chrome driver. It's loading, as you see, com object create selenium chrome driver uh, if you're using internet explorer or firefox you just change this here to say you know ie driver or firefox driver you know whatever you're using uh, the next thing this is what it's basically doing driver git and that basically is like kind of go to uh, and i just have it go into facebook so it's going to open go to facebook um, a really cool thing about Selenium uh, with the commands and stuff here is you don't really seem to have to use sleeps. Uh, it will not go to the next one until Facebook is actually like fully loaded. At least from when I was playing with it, it seemed that way. So I actually don't seem to need to put sleeps in here to wait for Facebook to fully load. I thought that was really cool and helpful. You know, it definitely saves a lot of lines of code. And you don't have to mess around with, you know, should my sleep be one second? Should it be five seconds? So I really like that. Uh, so the next thing, um, I'm just going to fill out my data on Facebook. So I got driver, find element by name, and email. And just in case you don't know how to get that, you can just go to and right click on the field you want, say inspect. And up here where it's highlighted, you can see name equals email right there. So, uh, got there, right there. The, uh, the name is email. Uh, item, it's one because there's only one uh, element on there that's, you know, referring to email. Uh, you know, if there's multiple ones that are called email, you can just change this to whatever one you want in the... Uh, order one two three but for the most part it should always be one i would think seems like that'd be kind of poor design um if someone had multiple ids and names being used but i don't know um and then what we want to do is send keys which is basically kind of like your auto hockey send command and it's just going to type out uh what i have here just uh testman at that place.com uh the second line here is doing the exact same thing the only difference is the name is now pass uh, for Facebook. And then the final one, um, since we're already in that pass field, I just use that again. It doesn't really matter for this because we're just going to be sending an enter key. Uh, and you do that by the same way with send keys, but now you're doing driver, keys, and then enter or whatever uh, button here you're trying to press. And then I just put a return here. So this should... Uh, Work pretty well. Let's go ahead and try that out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and press F1. This might appear a little bit off my screen here. Yeah, there we go. I'll just move that. So it's loading Facebook. And there we go. It went ahead and inserted uh, you know, the username and password, and it sent enter. Obviously, that's a fake account, so I got an error page here. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so that's a good way to, you know, install Selenium and then just some, a few simple commands to test it out to make sure it is working. You're not throwing any errors before you get into more complicated stuff, which hopefully I'll be doing in a few more videos coming up. Uh, just kind of testing the grounds out with this for now and seeing how I like it and what, and what you guys want to really learn. So definitely comment below and let me know what you guys kind of want to see come from Selenium, what you're trying to do with it. And I'll definitely try to tailor the videos towards that. Uh, another weird thing that I found out is if you actually close the, your script, um, I guess because it's being loaded through auto hotkeys. So if I come down here, you can't see it on my screen, but I'm going to right click and say exit. It's actually going to close that uh, instant of uh, Chrome. I found that pr pretty interesting. Um, but, you know, I still have my regular, you know, Chrome that I started out with working. So it's going to completely start a new debug mode Chrome. And if you close your script, 
it's going to close out. So just keep that in mind. If you close your script out and you have some page open that you don't want to close yet, maybe not close your script out yet or just favorite it real quick before you close out. But even that, you might lose your favorites. I haven't really played with that, but I'll let you know in the next video. All right, guys. Uh, if you have any questions about this, want me to go into more detail on a specific item in here, definitely comment below. Let me know. Also, comment below and let me know you know, what you're trying to do with Selenium, where do you want to have my videos kind of go with this kind of subject here. Um, yeah, so thank you guys. Definitely please subscribe. I'm uploading usually around two to three videos every week, uh, and I definitely appreciate it. See you guys next time.